Okay, last video showed you systems of linear equations, and here's an example of a system of nonlinear equations. A nonlinear equation, of course, is one that has a curve. It's not a line. The curve that you're familiar with is a parabola. So if we have a quadratic such as this, x squared plus y equals 4, that quadratic is going to be graphed as a curve. It's not going to be a straight line. So a system of equations that involves one of these, something with a curve, is known as a nonlinear equation or a system of nonlinear equations. Now the second equation here could be a straight line, it could be a curve. It's still called a nonlinear system because at least one of the uh, relations is not linear. So let's, uh, let's graph this one here. So we have a linear function here and a nonlinear function here. The linear function doesn't have an x squared in it, and this one will be graphed as a straight line. So let's put this one here in its y-intercept form. So y equals 1. Let's just move the 2x over to the other side. We have y equals negative 2x plus 1. So this particular function can be graphed very easily. We know that the y-intercept is plus plus 1, and we know that the slope is negative 2, so if the rise over run, so we rise negative 2 and run by 1, rise by negative 2, run by 1, rise by negative 2, run by 1, and we can still get negative 2 as well by running by negative 1, rising by 2, negative 1, rise by 2, and we get this sort of a linear function which we can draw in. It's got a slope of 2, so it's relatively steep, and it's a straight line with a y-intercept at y equals 1. So that's y equals negative 2x plus 1 graphed on this graph. In order to graph the second one, x squared plus y equals 4, we're just going to make a little table where there's x and y, and because x is x squared in this function, whether it's a negative number or a positive number, x squared will end up the same. For instance, if x is negative 2, then x squared is 4. But if x is 2, x squared is 4. So when I write in the x's here, it's going to be plus or minus. So let's just start at the bottom. Plus or minus 0, plus or minus 1, plus or minus 2, plus or minus 3, plus or minus 4, plus or minus 5. And each one of these will give us two different coordinates. But regardless of the x in the coordinate, the y will be the same. So when x equals 0, 0 squared is 0 plus something equals 4. Well, 0 plus 4 equals 4. So 0, 4 will be one of the coordinates. If we put 1 in for x, or minus 1 for x, whether it's minus 1 or plus 1, x squared will be 1. 1 plus something equals 4. Well, 1 plus 3 equals 4. So we put a 3 there. If x was 2 or minus 2, then x squared would be, would be 4. So 2 squared is 4. Minus 2 squared is 4. So 4 plus 0 is 4. So we've got a 0 here. For a 3, we get 3 squared is 9, or minus 3 squared is also 9. 9 plus something is 4. Well, 9 plus minus 5 is 4, so minus 5 must be the corresponding y-coordinate. Plus or minus 4, that gives us 16 here, and 16 plus minus 12 equals 4. And for the 5, we get 25 here, 25 plus minus 21 equals 4. So. Those are my coordinates. So now I have a series of coordinates here. This one is 0, 4, so 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. This one is plus 1 and 3 and minus 1 and 3, so it's two different coordinates, plus 1, 3, minus 1, 3. You notice the minus 1, 3 now shows up on both. Hmm. Plus or minus 2 on x and 0 on y. 
plus or minus 2. So there's minus 2 and there's plus 2, 0. So you can see plus or minus 3 and minus 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, and 1, 2, 3. Haha. <laughs> And plus or minus 4, so if we go to 4 on the x, we're all the way down to minus 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, and 4, and 12, and 4. So we have a parabola that's going to look something like this, and forgive my poor art. But we see here that our parabola intersects a straight line in two places. We have this spot here and we have this spot here. So those two coordinates, which appears to be 1, 2, 3, and negative 1, so negative 1, 3 is one location, and here, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, so it was 3, negative 5, those both appeared to work, and so by graphing, we've actually solved the system, the linear, the system, the nonlinear system of equations here with two different sets of coordinates that should work in both of these equations. And we can test this by plugging in this x and this y into the top equation and into the bottom of the equation and seeing whether they work. And that's actually the subject of 7.1. Next video.